following the Olympic torch on BBC Radio Humberside. The Olympic torch has yet to make its way to the Cleethorpes Light Railway. The 15-inch gauge railway there will run for about a mile, uh, including the signal box. Smallest pub in the world, they'll get to see that as well as they do the torch relay past that a bit later on on its way to Meridian Park. That huge event space on Kings Road in Cleethorpes. 8,000 people there expecting the torch, expecting entertainment and expecting a very good time actually. Uh, 130 torch bearers today on that leg between Sheffield and Cleethorpes and running pretty soon Roy Saxby and our reporter Sarah Burton's been talking to Roy's family. He's due to run shortly, as I say. Well, I've never seen Cleethorpes Road in Grimsby so busy and the whistles are coming out, the union flags are flying and with me at the moment is um, Roy Saxby's family. Now, Roy is 65. He's from Cleethorpes and he'll be carrying the torch down Cleethorpes Road. Now, his wife Maureen is, uh, is getting ready for that spectacular moment. Maureen... Are you excited? You've yeah, got your well, spot. He's very excited. He's uh, very, very nervous as he left home this afternoon to go. So, uh, but it's, um, it's an exciting day for everybody to sing run with the torch or walk with the torch. He's going to make the most of it. And you'll be making the most of it, I'm sure, cheering oh, him yes, on. Yes, we certainly will. Yes, we will come out in full force to wish him the best and hope he has a, a remembrance, a, remem- a, a day to remember. Sure, it will, Maureen. Now, his son Mark is also with me. You were the one who nominated um, Roy. Tell me why. Well, he asked me. Well, actually, also because uh, I wanted to nominate him because just all the stuff he's done over the last 50 years in volunteering for sport, helping in the local community. Even now, he runs a, a hockey club for over 50. He's just so much of his own time. And now he's retired, he still wants to do even more. So it was really, really an honour for me to nominate him. He deserves it, really does. All of the torchbearers, everyone says, they describe them as such inspiring people. Now, your dad is one of those, isn't he? Absolutely, and, and what was great about it as well was that one of his former pupils also nominated him as well, so he'd, he'd done, done some work with. So it wasn't just me who thought he, was, he deserved it, there's others in the community as well, and the amount of people who've said to him how well, how much you deserve it, Roy, is, is great, really good. So he's done some great things for the people here in, in North East Lincolnshire. Absolutely, absolutely. He deserves the praise, he deserves the honour, and OBE next. <laughs> Let's see. Well, uh, Nigel, your brother's also here. Nigel, are you excited? Very much so, yes. Yes, it's going to be good. There's a lot of people here, so it's going to be a good atmosphere. How would you describe your dad? Oh, goodness. <laughs> He's uh, done a lot. He's done a lot for other people. He's always puts other people first, family and non-family members. He's uh, With his job, he's travelled the world as well and helped people, not just in this country that he knows, but in other countries as well. So, yeah, very, uh, very inspiring. I'm sure Mark's already said, but very inspiring. Absolutely. I know that when Roy was asked what he actually gets out of helping the community, he actually said, I just enjoy what I do. If adults, children and young people get something out of it, then that is enough and satisfying for me. Would you agree, Mark and Nigel? Absolutely. That yeah. sounds just like the sort of thing my dad would say and mean it as well. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. So not one for platitude. If he says it, it's because he means to say it. Absolutely. Well, we'll see him walking down Cleethorpes Road in a short while, carrying that Olympic torch. Lots of traffic down here at the moment, but as I say, a few moments' time we'll be seeing that torch with your father carrying it. Thank uh, you. Thank you, Sarah. Sarah Burton, our reporter on the route to the Olympic torch with the family of Roy Saxby, who's about to carry the torch. He's been teaching athletics for 30 years. He's a high jump specialist and he's trained young athletes from the age of 11 through to adults, up to international standard as well, and all as a volunteer. What a fella. Uh, let's see if he's running yet because I, they won't be long before they're back into runner mode. Uh, let's have a look. Amanda White's with the media bus. How's it looking there, Amanda? Oh, well, there's not a dry eye in the house here, Phil. We've just crossed over the flyover near the uh, dock offices here in Grimsby. We're just by the Grimsby Telegraph offices now, and we've been watching Alan Raymond. He's from near Scunthorpe. He's a wheelchair user, has been since 1997 when he lost his legs due to MRSA. And we have just seen him single-handedly power his chair up and over this flyover. What He is absolutely exhausted from the effort but uh, he's still smiling what an extraordinary effort first one hand and then the next up really quite a steep uh, steep slope over the flyover you know the one I mean and uh, well he managed it anyway he made it and uh, what a great start to the run of this torch as it heads towards Cleethorpes um, he's just passing the torch on now to 
the next to the next carrier, Roy Saxby from Cleethorpe. He's been teaching athletics for 30 years. He holds it high, that torch. And he's got some union flag sweatbands as well, maybe to mop his brow as he makes his way along. Here we are. Listen to that cheer for Roy. He's uh, been teaching athletics for 30 years and um, it's, well, it sounds like he's devoted his life to the development and education of young people. And he reaches his finger to the sky like Superman, Phil, as he makes his way along Cleethorpe's road here. Oh, what a great atmosphere. We've got flags being waved, loads of people lining the streets, so many people wanting to capture this moment because it's here the olympic flame is in grimsby right in the heart of this community just passing the caxton theater now phil enjoying every single moment stopping and posing for a photo he'll get told off in a minute uh, but he's going to enjoy his moments <laughs> you do so as well thank you amanda white roy saxby has the torch currently on the cleethorpes road in grimsby are heading off to the grimsby road and uh, then on to cleethorpes and isaac's hill and the high street for about quarter past six that's what they reckon in the next half an hour or so